Thank you for joining me for a brief review of how using INSIP will affect the workflow process for Evergreen Indiana Libraries participating in the CIRCS project. The NISO Circulation Interchange Protocol, also known as INSIP, provides opportunities to streamline the full process of using CIRCS for participating libraries. This presentation will focus on integration with the Evergreen ILS, but generally, the process will match across any ILS that can have INSIP configured for use with CIRCS. Without INSIP, staff are responsible for all actions in both their local ILS and CIRCS, many of which are repeated in some fashion. Patron accounts must be manually created, approved, and or uploaded to CIRCS by staff. Pick lists for CIRCS are separate from those locally created. Requested items have to be managed in both the local and CIRCS catalogs by both lending and borrowing libraries. Within SIP, CIRCS connects with the Evergreen database to allow patrons to register their own CIRCS accounts using their existing library card and contact information. Pull lists are integrated within the local ILS requests and many of the actions in CIRCS automatically trigger actions in the local ILS. A couple of quick notes about INSIP. It is a one-way communications tool. CIRCS can tell Evergreen circulation information, but Evergreen cannot tell CIRCS anything about circulations. Patrons created manually in CIRCS will not be created in Evergreen, so transactions for those users may require guest handling in Evergreen. Let's take a look at the process for a borrowing library with INSIP. First, the patron logs into the CIRCS system and searches for a title. For our example today, we will search for the keyword Evergreen. The results are clustered. So the patron then clicks on the cover image to select the title and view availability. From the cluster, an individual record is selected and the request is placed. Once the request is placed, an eligible copy is targeted and shipped. When the item arrives, staff open up the pending interface and mark it as received in CIRCS. This creates a hold on the patron's account and notifies the patron of the item's arrival via email. Please note that the hold notification is sent from CIRCS and not Evergreen. Staff then go to Maintain Bookstraps, print out the associated bookstrap, and attach it to the item. When the patron arrives, check out the item by entering ILL followed by the request number that appears on the bookstrap. This will trigger a pre-cat dialog. Enter the remaining information into the pre-cat editor and submit it. The hold will fall away from the patron's account. When the item is returned, open the CIRCS interface and change the received item status to returned. This will check in the item locally and delete the pre-cat record in Evergreen. Remove the book strap, insert the shipping transit label, and Info Express the item back to its owning library. Now let's review the procedure for a lending library with INSIP. The library opens their local pull list for holds, and assigned CIRCS requests appear as entries in that list. If captured as usual in Evergreen with your other Evergreen Indiana holds, the system will generate a transit slip for a CIRCS institutional library patron. Staff will then pull up the pending requests in CIRCS. If you are unable to provide an item, choose Will Not Supply from the drop-down and submit it to move the request along. For each item that you are supplying, open up the full request. Compare the barcode entry as it appears on the request. 
If it matches, simply update the status to shipped. That will check out the item to CIRCS in Evergreen and close the transit. If the barcode is different, however, perhaps because you have pulled an alternate copy from your collection, simply enter the new barcode and then update the status to shipped. Print out and insert the shipping transit label. Ship to the requesting library via InfoExpress. When a CIRCS item is returned, open up the returned entries and mark them as check-in. This will check the item in in Evergreen and complete the transaction in CIRCS. Our demonstration today is limited in scope. Please review the other available trainings for instructions on how to deal with other situations and how to configure your library settings in CIRCS. Thank you.